Welcome to Tips from a Roller. I'm Steph, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up effective retargeting campaigns. You're likely already familiar with retargeting as sort of a general concept. We know, of course, that visitors come to your website and browse your products, but many of them leave before they complete their purchase. So you show ads and emails to those potential customers tailored to what it was they showed interested on your website to encourage them to come back and complete their purchase. This allows you to gather data around what is effective in reaching those potential customers so you can continue to do what works and refine what might not be working as well, which over time is going to mean not only an increase in purchases made on your website, but hopefully an increase in the order value as well. So even though we understand retargeting at this higher level, how you approach step two of delivering ads and emails is really going to be what determines how effective your retargeting efforts are. So today we're going to be talking through each of the elements of an effective retargeting campaign so you can complete step two and reach that point of additional purchases at a higher value on your website. When you're thinking through your retargeting strategy, it's really important to make sure you're considering the who, what, where. The who initially might seem pretty obvious. We know, of course, that we are talking about your site traffic. But I would really encourage you to think through how you could break that rather large audience down into separate intent levels. This is because when we consider the what of what ad you're showing to that audience, it's going to allow you to be more personalized in your messaging. An ad that resonates with a first-time site visitor is likely not going to be as effective for a cart abandoner who's already pretty familiar with your brand and your product and knows what they're looking for. Um, So by breaking down that who and that what and combining them, you're able to meet your potential customers where they're at with messaging that's going to resonate with them. Once you've figured out the who and what of your strategy, you're ready to consider the where or where you're going to be showing these ads to these potential customers. There are so many placements available to you in this day and age, but the ones that are most crucial for an effective retargeting strategy are web, social, and email. You want to make sure you have a strong presence across all three of these channels. This is going to create the most cohesive customer experience. Whenever possible, you also want to make sure that you consolidate these three channels into a single platform, as this is going to allow them to communicate, share strategy, spend budget effectively, rather than keeping them siloed and not able to communicate uh, strategy across the three. We've also found that shoppers that are influenced by both ads and email in this capacity actually convert two times more quickly, which over time is going to mean an incremental increase in the sales you see on your website. Now that you are familiar with sort of the elements of an effective retargeting campaign and are starting to think through how this can apply to your own specific strategy, I would strongly encourage you to check out how you can quickly and easily set this campaign up through your ad roll dashboard. But of course, thank you so much for watching and make sure that you check out our help center for additional helpful information.